Everybody got guilty pleasures, mind just tend to catch me cases, handcuffs, police inspections, lawyers, judges, allegations, turn on your favorite station, you hear the same old song, I feel like, dog, I'm about to drop the bomb, blow one down, pass it around, hey, what with me now, we running well, hey, and nobody can, we on the town, hey, never come down, I never come down. We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. A clash of two of the more fervent fan bases around. The Cowboys and the Raiders are underway. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. They'll come out in the pistol. On first down, it's Roethlisberger sliding out of the pocket. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Give him three on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion, or even worse, an interception. I'm sure as a coach, when you throw the flag, you hold your breath, then you get the verification you were right, a sigh of relief. Not only a sigh of relief, a little vindication as well, because every time you pull that red flag and throw it, you could be costing your team a timeout. Call it a gain of three, and that's going to lead to a third down. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys in plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive, it just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does, and we're talking about an error in the game 
where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in a bunch. I mean, when you talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practice now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. I can say this from experience, especially from a defensive back's perspective. There's not many things more terrifying than a toss sweep or a pitch play and all that beef out in front of the runner. Yeah, I had an old coach say three words on those plays, toss or pitch. Set the edge, hurt them over and over. A lot of times they roll the edge, and when they do that, that's why you can go for a long way. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two, and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And the coach has decided to throw the red flag. He will challenge this play. Partner, the head coach is out of challenges now for the rest of the game. I'm not too sure he wouldn't like to have a few more challenges in his pocket. And when they first started challenges in the NFL, people were wondering, what's the right amount? Yeah, I'm not sure that there's a flat-out determination, but I do like where we are because I think it does leave strategy in the game, and the head coach has to make a decision. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And it appears they'll go for it here on fourth down. A big call on the game's opening drive. Fourth down. Here's Roethlisberger. And he finds Cook. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Well, it all came together on that one, didn't it? Big time throw on fourth. Now that had to feel good, didn't it? Taking that type of a gamble there and making it pay off. What a throw. And tough as a receiver because no matter how perfect the pass, you know it's fourth down and you got to convert. A little bit of extra pressure, but he overcame it. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. He gets it left side to Johnson. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Eluding the pressure right. And he fires one, but incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, and that'll bring up a fourth down. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. And look at this. They're keeping the punter on the sideline. They're going to go for it here on the opening drive. They'll try and throw for him with Roethlisberger. And this is incomplete. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. On first and ten, here's Brady. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. That throw good for four. It's second down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field and it's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Throwing now is Brady. Over the middle here to Brown. 
They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. And a nice pitch and catch to pick up the reception against man coverage. Both of them read how much yardage they needed, figured what they had to do, and were able to beat the man coverage for the completion. Looking for Fitzgerald, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And the return will stop right around the 25. So out come the Raiders. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. Call it a pickup of seven, and that'll lead here to a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Roethlisberger now to throw on third down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield complete. It goes for a gain of 10, and it's a first down. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. And the offense will be looking to get at least some of this yardage back here. It's second and 12. Again, we'll see the pistol here. Now Roethlisberger. They'll roll him out right. Oh, he's got a little daylight. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. And I have to admit, partner, that I've often thought that I don't like this rule where the offensive player fumbles the ball, it goes out of bounds, and they get to keep it. <laughs> that's just because you're a defensive guy. That's why you don't like it. Yeah, you're right. It is a slanted view, isn't it? But that's this is where, for the offensive team, the sideline is their friend. Usually it's not their friend. Yeah, exactly right. I actually played for a guy in college. You know what he used to name the sideline? Sammy. Sammy sideline and use him well. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Second and just one. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. Flush to his right. Caught right side. It's Sneed. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. So the offense has it first and ten. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. And that'll bring up second down. I think that's a big-time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he's able to bat it away. Second and 10 now. It's Roethlisberger. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Earl Thomas. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense. Looking for Baldwin intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And they've got it very deep in enemy territory. It's inside the five at the three-yard line. First and goal. First and goal at the three-yard line now. They'll run with Procise. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think he even go into a huddle. Just and he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. C.J. Procise. 